Yeah, so developing this HET was a huge challenge and an incredibly exciting one. It's the largest one we've ever worked on and so it brings a whole load of uh, interesting manufacturing challenges. So we not only took this design, but we actually manufactured it. We figured out the manufacturing processes necessary and we finished this project with a hardware prototype complete in a vacuum chamber and ready for testing. So a Hall Effect Thruster is a type of electric propulsion device that's used um, a lot in space today uh, and it uses an electric field orthogonal to a magnetic field to trap electrons and then we use those electrons to ionize gas and produce a plasma that in turn produces thrust to propel spacecraft. So uh, Hall Thrusters are extremely important to the space sector now. They, um, they dominate the propulsion in space. 90% um, of the satellites use Hall Thrusters for all sorts of different things. They are an order of magnitude greater uh, performance than the old standard chemical propulsion. Um, they offer such a higher exhaust velocity and therefore save so much on the propellant required to do a manoeuvre. And so for all sorts of different mission scenarios, then the Hall thrusters are now becoming the dominant type of propulsion in space. Our role was to provide a manufacturing consultation on the ability to manufacture uh, the components of the Hall thruster, which you can see behind us, um, and the nuclear uh, power plant that would be used to provide energy for it. So we provided consultation on the ability of the UK supply chain to make the components, uh, readiness for uh, deployment and any sort of technical challenges that we thought could be encountered. You know, it's really exciting to doing something so novel, applying our knowledge on space propulsion to this such exciting area of advanced nuclear electric propulsion, thinking about what missions to do next, you know, going, taking humans to Mars, exploring the outer solar system with electric propulsion. Thank you.